the eagles has no land in nigeria relocates eagles in u.s declares yes 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 greetings my people out there i greet you now well i did very morning let me smart him the Igbo people, the Igbo people. <laughs> you see, Igbo people now people where you know fit play or joke with. In fact, you don't joke with the Igbos. You don't play with the Igbos because why? Well, if you try them, <laughs> now you go use your own hand, carry your, uh, your, 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 your problem. Um, based on what you have just said, uh, you see. Eagles, yes, uh, they may not, they may not be allocated a land to body only land in Nigeria. In fact, now eagles get majority of the land where they from Nigeria. That's why if you check them, if you check and you go see say now eagles now then get houses pass and and also um. All the house will make sense for Nigeria. Will make sense. All the solid building for Nigeria. Now, Igbo people, now him get them. Okay, my people, make we quickly check the content. Make we know what in uh, the Igbo group for USA. They talk about we make them talk. What they talk. So this one now today's news. American Igbo organization, the World Igbo Congress (WIC), and the American Veterans of Igbo descent, AVID, AVID, expressed concern about the lack of designated land for Igbo settlements and businesses in Nigeria. In a letter to Enugu State Governor Peter Mba, they urged him to address the issue and protect Igbo land from potential encroachment. The, the group highlighted the disparity in land allocation between northern Nigerians ranching areas and the absence of designated land for Igbo development. They emphasized the importance of safeguarding Igbo land and culture, advocating for collaborations between authorities and community leaders. They urged proactive measures to preserve Igbo land and culture including vigilant oversight and strategic planning. They believe land allocations for Igbo settlements and businesses is vital for economic growth, social cohesion, and cultural preservation. The letter concludes by calling on Governor Mba and stakeholders to prioritize the protection of Igbo land rights and establish equitable land allocation policies. Hmm. Hey, Igbo people. In fact, uh, I salute the Igbos. In fact, you see, to be frankly speaking with you, my dear listeners, we cannot do without the Igbos. Me and you know. We know we do without them. Because why? Because now these same Igbo people, now them, they make things they happen now the Igbo people make things they happen you see which place you go go where you know go see Igbo man believe me that place go go, go be like where 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 they the they, they mourn people where where nothing they happen that place go just be like empty place go be like desert now Igbo people they make things they happen she moku talk about Lagos, I be na Enugu, I be na Ogun State. Where where Igbos no day. Even places where Igbos no day, they, they beg make Igbo people then come. So um, my Igbo people for the USA, uh, I beg make una take them easy because everywhere they need Igbo people because uh, if Igbo no day for this country, mm, Nigeria go turn to desert. Let me talk and so it be. All right, uh, my people out there, uh, let's quickly, quickly, quickly make we hear from Namoko no waiting when I get to talk on this matter. Don't forget, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload 
any new videos. Thank you.